On Heavy Metal Frequency, I'm reviewing another non-metal album, Marcin's Dragon and Harmony. This is a particularly dynamic flamenco album. Marcin uses some uh, golpe, uh, Reed as percussive guitar techniques on here, and uh, especially on the second half of the album, it's quite nice. Um, John Gom and Andy McKee did that a lot. And so uh, this is a... It's almost like a progressive flamenco album, if you want to get down to it. It's a, uh, some of the early tracks, Guitar is Dead, I Kill It. This is a fantastic album. They're really good. It's fantastic. And uh, When the Light Goes features Portugal the Man. It has some vocals on it. It has like a early night, like a early, like a late 2000s, early 2010s uh, indie rock vibe to it, kind of. Uh, Classical Dragons, one of my favorite tracks on here. Tim Henson from Polyphia is on it. He's an, another amazing guitarist, and it has like a prog rock vibe to it. And so a lot of this album is like flamenco cut with other stuff. Um, Smooth Operator is almost like a bossa nova version of Smooth Operator. Allergies isn't one of the vocal tracks. It has a vocal song named Delaney Bailey, and uh, she has like a kind of pop and blues um, quality to her voice, so it's almost like a pop blues song. Uh, I Don't Write About Girls has Ichika Nito on it. He's an excellent guitarist that uses all these really interesting tunings. Uh, Heart Shaped Box is a really, he, um, this album gets more and more golpe heavy as it continues, uh, especially some of them like uh, Heart Shaped Box, Bite Your Nails, Requiem, the last three, three tracks on here have a lot more golpe. Requiem is almost like a flamenco classical hybrid. It's fantastic and it's an excellent way to end this album. And so I absolutely love this. Uh, Smooth Operator is a really cool bossa nova-esque -esque song. Claire de Lune's really good. Now this version of Claire de Lune. Uh, the two-part track, Guitar is Dead, I Killed It, is really kind of funny. It's um, it's really interesting, and it's almost like it's it's uh, it's cut into two parts, and it's a really interesting interesting way to start the album. And I absolutely love this, and I hope you pick up a copy, and I'm trying to keep this brief so that you'll like it, love it, enjoy it, buy it, support Marcin, because he's an amazing guitarist. I've seen him once so far. I really want to see him again, and uh, thank you, and have a good day.